Hello, my name is Tyler, and let's have a guitar lesson. This is how we play Faint Knot. It, uh, to start, just so you know, I'm in standard tuning, E, A, D, G, B, E, from low to high, and we're on capo two. Capo two. Which means that I'm playing in the key of F sharp, uh, but without the capo, it would be like I'm playing in the key of E. Here is the intro. I'm going to put my index finger on the 6th fret, and I'm using my pointer finger on the 6th the fret of the A string, is where my ring finger is going. My pointer finger is going on the 2nd fret of the D string, and I'm muting the G string with my pointer finger. So it's, it should sound like this. Also palm muting at the same time and I'm very 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 lightly if at all uh, maybe not at all hitting these uh, these top two strings so um, here's how it sounds it goes. so it's like six and two and then slide up to eight and six and then I'm muting uh, on that last chord, it's the G string is basically muted the whole time. It is muted the whole time. And then I'm throwing in like a, a ninth uh, right there. So again it goes. I like to slide around, so what I'll do is I'll take this, uh, my middle finger is on the ninth fret of the A string, and my pointer finger is on the uh, eighth fret of the D string, and I, I like to slide that down um, to that, like, that E chord, it's like kind of an E power chord, um, there's no third in the chord, so it's just... Uh, Here's what it sounds like uh, in action. Do the little like, so I, I'm just muting with my hand for the, the intro clicks, it goes. That last little slide I didn't tell you about. I'm going from that 8-6 thing, and I'm using, I'm kind of, this this one, this pointer finger, is not leaving the guitar. Um, and I, But I'm adding my middle finger from that slide to there. And back to that, that E, E chord, F sharp with the, uh, with the capo. So um, that's the intro and it's pretty much that through the verses. Um, the, the little pre-chorus thing is just like a, an open A chord. Um, I think they call that like an A, an A2 chord. So that's um, and then a B and then a C sharp if we were playing open um, without a fret. So I'm just, I'm assuming that we're in E form this whole time and so I'm giving you the chords in E form, just so you know. So again, A, an A2 chord, and then B, sus, C sharp, minor 7, and then back to that B sus, and then just that A, A2 again, and then um, this is a, an E chord with no third in it. It's, I'm, I'm borrowing the, uh, I'm using this pointer finger to hit both the A string and the D string. It gives this a really full sound. So it's like A oh my soul, same night. Oh, same night. And then this part. 
part I really like. It's it's pretty fun. You're keeping uh, you're keeping all like the this string and then these two strings open, and you're you kind of like you do this octave thing, starting on the uh, on the B. It goes. You're muting the D string with your pointer finger, with this uh, this finger right here. And so you go, it's just sliding it up. You got those like overtones and like a little bit of crunchiness in there. Um, and then back to the. Uh, there's your A, uh, an A2 chord again, just a different voicing of it. Um, Voicings. I love voicings. This is like your standard, uh, like a B. Um, it's got a third in it, but it's also a suspended fourth in there. And um, so this is that's like, like the second half of the chorus. And then uh, or. Second verse is the same, second pre-chorus is the same, second chorus is the same. Uh, on the bridge, it's there's not much going on that's different um, in terms of how you play it. But I am doing this this rhythm, um, this like uh, sextuplet rhythm or, or triplet rhythm. Um, it's like this, it's like... So what I'm doing for that is I'm going down, down, and then, so down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 yeah, so down, 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 and so you've got the bridge, it's like, Much to sing the whole time. Um, sometimes I add these little, uh, like, I don't know what you call them, like really quick strums in there, so it's like. Um, I, I really like those because it just kind of gives it a little bit of a, uh, like an interesting feel, almost like a snare drum feel um, on the guitar. and. The way that I practiced that initially was I I actually stood in front of a mirror and I just was like I I kind of I, I tighten my wrist and I make sure my fingers are are um, as close as possible to my the palm of my hand and then I I just uh, I was doing down up down that was like that was the first one so it's like and you start them kind of slow and then you just. I still don't do them perfectly, as you can see. But um, yeah, just it just uh, kind of adds a little bit of a like a, a flare sound. I, I don't know if that's the right word, but flam I think is the is the term maybe um, if you're a drummer. And okay, so at the end of the bridge, um, where there is darkness, let the light come. Come. There's that octave thing again. Just that that open A two with uh, this this higher voicing. Um, da -da. Da -da. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing because I don't explain it uh, as well as maybe I could. I'm trying to think if there's anything else in that. Um, so yeah, the, I mean, the, really the biggest difference in sound, um, I'll, I'll start the song, Paul meeting, I'll do that throughout the verses, kind of open it up in the pre-chorus. Um, when I say open it up, I mean I, I remove my palm, and so it, op it makes the, the string, uh, it makes it, what's the word, um, vibrate, yes, <laughs> without any... Uh, Resonate is the word I was looking for. Resonate with any, without any hindrance. Um, so it's just this really full open sound, very clear. Um, and 
I pretty much play uh, all of the the pre-courses, choruses, and and br the bridge uh, like that. Okay, if you have any questions, let me know. I I uh, this is my first guitar lesson, so well the first one online. If, so this is different for me. So give me some feedback. Uh, I know this was a little long. I'll try to make them shorter next time. Thank you very much. And until next time, goodbye.